Should you be using custom GPTs or chat GPT projects? This is a question that I get all the time and I wanted to make an updated video on this topic comparing GPTs versus chat GPT projects and give you my honest recommendations. So be sure to stick around for this full video. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and I help executives and founders leverage AI to scale content, save time, and build a strong personal brand online. I notice I'm almost at 25,000 subscribers. That was my goal to end 2025. So if you find value in this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. But if you wanna know my favorite AI tools, prompts, and even my automation templates, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this in the video description or pinned comment below. So first of all, in order to create custom GPTs, you must be a paid user of ChatGPT, whether that's Plus Pro, Teams, or Enterprise. However, as a free user of ChatGPT, you can access GPTs, you just cannot build your own. But that is a big deal in my opinion. Projects, on the other hand, we saw a recent update from OpenAI that free users of ChatGPT can now build their own projects. But keep in mind, when you're doing this, you're going to be very limited with what features you can actually use inside these projects, and you're going to be very limited overall with usage on the free plan. I've been very consistent with that stance throughout my channel is that if you want to actually get serious results with AI, I would recommend subscribing to ChatGPT Plus for $20 a month. Now, I do have separate tutorials on how to build ChatGPT projects and how to build custom GPTs, and I will leave those in the video description below. So what's the difference between a custom GPT and a chat GPT project? And I'll be honest, generally speaking, they're not that different. These are both customized versions of chat GPT that are trained on custom instructions, whether that's project instructions or GPT instructions, and you can upload files whether that's project files or whether that's files when you're training a GPT. I will say one of the big differences here is access or accessibility and sharing. And so within a chat GPT project, unless you're on a Teams plan or an enterprise plan, you cannot share a chat GPT project. This is one of my biggest frustrations with using these. I use projects every day. And if there was one thing I wish OpenAI would change, it's the ability to share these publicly. Unless you're in a Teams or enterprise plan, you can share them within your team. But I am not. I'm on the plus version of chat GPT and I can't share my projects. Versus a GPT, if I click this drop down, you'll notice there's an option to copy a link. So you can publicly share custom GPTs across the internet, whether you're on you know, the free version, plus, pro, it doesn't really matter. You can publicly share GPTs. And there's also a GPT store where you can access GPTs created by the community. There's no such thing as a project store where you can't access projects created by the chat GPT community. So that is probably the biggest difference, in my opinion, between GPTs and projects is accessibility and the ability to share them. Now, I'll be honest, outside of the sharing capabilities, I think projects blow GPTs out of the water. I think GPTs are almost obsolete at this point. And in the rest of this video, I'm going to explain why. Let's start off with a simple reason of chat organization. Inside a chat GPT project, Notice how much more organized I can find all of my previous chats that are chronologically organized by the date that I last used them. This is extremely helpful where let's say I want to come up with, you know, I have a podcast tomorrow and I want to come up with new podcast questions, but I can't remember what I did in my last episode. Well, I can pull up a previous chat here within this project and then use that as a reference. So that is actually a really big deal in my opinion, right? Versus a custom GPT, there's no organization of chats so you have to scroll through the sidebar here on the left and try to remember, did I use this chat in this GPT or come up to the search chats option and try to find it that way? It's just super annoying and super tedious. Something else that's cool about projects is let's say you are using, you know, the main bird or the main chat of chat GPT for a particular task, but you want to add it to a project. So what you can do 
is scroll through your previous chats. You can click the three dots here, click add to project, and then click whatever project that you want to add it to, right? That's just another cool benefit of projects. But in terms of just overall chat organization and not hating my life of trying to find a previous chat that was going really well for me with the GPT, projects definitely have the edge here over GPTs. Now, in terms of what AI models you can use between GPTs and projects, I wanted to quickly point this out as it's an important update is that with GPTs, you can now change the AI model within this dropdown. About a month ago, you could not do this. So OpenAI did change it where now I can use any version of GPT-5. I can use these legacy models if you're a plus or even a paid user of chat GPT. Whereas projects, this has always been the case. You had, uh, you had the ability to access the latest models and now we have have access to these legacy models. And so that's a wash between GPTs and projects at this point. But a quick tip, if you do not see these legacy models and you're a paid user of chat GPT, simply click your profile icon on the bottom right, click settings. And then under general, you should see this option for show additional models. I actually found that out a few days ago, where if you toggle that on, we can now access all of the legacy models 40, 41, 03, 04 mini, et cetera. So I wanted to quickly point that out as well. Now, in terms of building GPTs or building projects, another big difference here is the amount of knowledge that you can upload to a project versus a GPT. And this is a big deal if you're adding a ton of knowledge on the back end. Now, I believe the instructions are similar in terms of, I don't even know if there is a character limit versus a project or a GPT. So I don't know about instructions, but when it comes to the actual knowledge, I did some research on this. With a custom GPT, you're only able to upload 20 files to a GPT, and then each file can be up to 512 megabits and contain 2 million tokens. Versus a project, it says here on the free plan of chat GPT, you can only upload five files on a project. On plus, you can upload 25 files for project. And then on education, pro, business, and enterprise, it's 40 files for project. I would imagine that that size limit of the 512 megabits and 2 million tokens is probably similar between both of those. But that is a pretty big deal in my opinion. You might be saying, well, it's only 10 files versus 20 files. But, you know, for my instance, where I'm building a project for a client of mine, you'll notice I already have 17 files in here. I'm going to fill that up pretty quickly. And so with a project, you do get the ability to upload more knowledge that way. Something else that I want to call out that's important when comparing GPTs and projects is memory. If I click new project, I now have the ability here to do a project only memory. So projects can use memory. And as far as I understand, GPTs cannot use memory. And that is a big deal in my opinion, where it says project only memory. Project can only access its own memories. Its memories are hidden from outside chat. So if you wanna keep memories inside particular projects, you can definitely do that. Or on default, I, I built this project before I even had the option to do project only memory. You can do a default where it says project can access memories from outside chats and vice versa. But it, you know, unfortunately I can't change this setting, but going forward when building more projects, I'm definitely going to be doing project only memory. So memory is a pretty big distinction between GPTs and projects. Now, another very important difference between custom GPTs and chat GPT projects is the ability to use advanced features or the inability in the case of GPTs. Now, what do I mean by this? If I pull up my chat GPT project, this is one of my clients, for instance, and I click this dropdown of add files and more, you'll notice I have the ability to perform deep research. I can generate an image right here. I can use chat GPT agent mode, study and learn, web search canvas, and then one drive and SharePoint. Now, the biggest differences here is that with a project, you can use deep research and also chat GPT agent mode. This is a big deal in my opinion versus a custom GPT. If I click add files and more, notice how I barely have any options to choose from. Now, I did realize that this GPT in particular didn't have image generation and canvas checked on. So in a GPT, you can do web search, you can use canvas and you can generate images, but you cannot use deep research or chat GPT agent mode. So just keep that in mind when trying to figure out if I should use a project or a custom GPT. And that is a big deal in my opinion.
Now, another important thing to look at when comparing GPTs versus projects is the ability or inability to access third-party applications outside of ChatGPT via MCP or some other connection method. Now, what do I mean by this? So you might notice that my chat box here has kind of an orange background. Well, what I've done is I've entered what's called ChatGPT developer mode. This allows me to access hundreds, if not thousands of third-party applications right available inside ChatGPT. I have a full dedicated tutorial on setting that up. I will leave that in the video description below. And so when it comes to a project, or a GPT for that matter, unfortunately you cannot use developer mode in this main chat. You'll notice when I click the drop down, I'll actually X out of this and show you what I mean. If I click this add files and more, click more, you'll see an option for developer mode. And then I can connect Zapier MCP, Make MCP, or whatever other connector that I have here versus on a project, if I try to do that, there is no you know connectors option. There's no developer mode option. Same with a custom GPT. If I pull up this custom GPT, there's no option for it as well. Now, on the back end of a custom GPT, it does get a little technical. I'll be honest, I don't know the ins and outs of this, but I do know that you can take actions outside of chat GPT with a custom GPT if you're in the advanced settings or additional settings, like I'm showing you right here, actions, where it says actions, create new action. This is where you would use this part right here. But I'll be honest with you, this is really irrelevant now that we have developer mode and we can access third-party tools like Google Sheets, Calendly, Asana, Notion, and all sorts of other applications with ChatGPT developer mode. So I wanted to call that out too. So for my final thoughts on whether you should use custom GPTs or chat GPT projects, you probably know my answer by now. I do think GPTs are obsolete. The only, only benefit that I can think of at this point is the ability to share these publicly and access community created GPTs on the GPT store. Outside of that, projects blow GPTs out of the water. In terms of just simple chat organization, that is a huge deal to me where a GPT is all over the place and you're gonna lose all your chats in history, spend all this time looking for them and it's just super annoying. The other thing too, like I mentioned, the ability to use deep research in chat GPT agent mode, now you have to be a paid user, those aren't available to free users. So the ability to do that where you can't do that in a GPT is a big deal to me. Also memory, right? We have the ability now to create project only memory where you cannot do that in a GPT. And in addition to all of that, you can upload more files to train this project better than you could a GPT. Now you can create projects on the free plan of chat GPT, but you are extremely limited. So I would recommend upgrading to plus. But that is my final recommendation. You should be using projects over GPTs don't trust anyone on the internet trying to sell you GPTs or hype them up for whatever reason, projects are definitely superior to custom GPTs at this point. So if you've made it this far into the video, first and foremost, I appreciate you. If you found any value here, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, help me get to that 25,000 by the end of 2025. I would truly appreciate you. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you prefer GPTs over chat GPT projects or vice versa? Want to know what you guys have to say in the comments. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.